Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. Today, I'm going to tell you about the day that I almost died. That's right. A lot of people are commenting in my recent sit-up challenge video, which was just me being weird, uh, saying, Molt, what happened to your left arm? They're talking about this arm. You can obviously tell that something happened to it, right? So I'm going to tell you all what happened to my arm the day that I almost died, all right? Now, a lot of you probably want to hear, it was a shark attack. Well, it was. I'm kidding. It wasn't a shark attack. <laughs> Here's what happened. So, one day, me and my friends, the summer before college. So, I already graduated high school. It was the summer before college. I was out at the lake. Um, my friends and I went to go swing on a rope swing at the river. Okay? Now, this rope swing was intense. It hung out really far in front of you, so people would have to bring you the rope so you could swing and get a lot of momentum. Um... It was also a ski rope, so it had a little triangle handle on the bottom of it, right? So you grab onto it, and then there's that extra rope that's hanging down so that people can hand it to you. You put that behind your back, right? So I swing off, I go, and in the air, I turn around for some reason. Thankfully, I turn around because I'm right-handed. So I turn around, and that extra rope I see come up and wrap around my arm in the air. It's a freak accident, okay? I hit the water at the river, and it tightens on me. So my arm, it just, it just goes whoop. And then I kind of black out for a second. I come to, I'm in the water. I have this rope wrapped around my arm, and my arm's not working. I'm trying to move it, and it's not. It's just hanging there, just floating, tied up in the rope. So I start yelling for my friends. I'm like, get out of here. Help me. <laughs> so they jump in the water. I try and swim out with this one arm. I get out of the water, and I pass out, okay? And then I come to, because I'm just like, what happened? Uh... They call my mom and we say, all right, we got to meet at the emergency room. We're about a half a mile back in the woods to this river. Um, I have to piggyback on this guy, one of my buddies, and I just keep passing out. I keep on having to lay down. They keep on having to pick my feet up and let the blood go to my head because my body's in shock because of the rope that just wrapped around my arm. So we get out, um, get in the car, fly to the emergency room. I get there and I just sit in the waiting room. And the adrenaline's starting to wear off, and I'm just shaking because I'm in so much pain. Um, I go up to the doctor. They do an x-ray, okay? So they check my bones. That's what they check. They don't check my muscles. They check my bones. And they're like, you're fine. Nothing's broken. Nothing's dislocated. You're fine. You just have a rope burn. You'll be fine in a couple days. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, wait. So you went to school to tell me that when my arm's not working, I'm fine. All right, all right. I trust you. So I trusted them. I went home. Three days later, my arm, still not working. Just hanging there in a sling. Not working. So I go, and we get an MRI. Okay, so I go in one of those machines. I'm sure some of y'all y'all have had MRIs before. I get all the way in the machine. It's like, woo, for like 45 minutes, 30 minutes, however long it is. And we come out, and then I go home, and then they give us the results. The results are that my bicep, which is the top muscle up here, and the brachialis, which is in between, are 100% split in half. So I have two bicep muscles because the rope wrapped around it and it just pinched it like Play-Doh. So I have two bicep muscles, okay? Two biceps and two brachialises in this one arm. And then my tricep was cut 75% of the way through by the rope, all right? If it had been cut any more, the doctor said that I would have bled to death. All right, so Molt, Gaming with Molt, wouldn't be here right now if that rope had tightened any more whatsoever. I would have bled because there's that big artery in your arm. I would have bled to death. So we get all that news. We're like, oh, man. All right, what are we going to do about this? Uh, this is a hard surgery. It doesn't really happen that much to people. Uh, but there's a doctor at our church, and God is amazing, and this guy has done surgery on Shaquille O'Neal. He's done surgery on all these other athletes, baseball players, basketball players, football players, all these famous people, and he's booked like three, four months in advance just because of how good he is. He's like, uh-uh, I'm getting you in. We're doing this thing. So I get in because God's like, I'm not going to let my boy just let his arm petrify or whatever the freak it's called um because the muscles started dying they weren't connected anymore it was it was broken apart like this so i get into surgery they do the surgery everything goes well and then i go off to college <laughs> so i have a huge cast on my arm the first semester of college um <clears throat> i was going to go play baseball at western carolina university in north carolina i was a pitcher 
Um, I was going to play baseball, and uh, obviously that dream got completely squashed by this stupid rope swing. Um, and so I start going through therapy for my arm. My hand doesn't work. It doesn't work for about five months because of all the nerve damage that happened. And my arm is stuck at a right angle like this. Like you couldn't bend it. You could pull on it and it wouldn't bend because of the trauma that happened to it. So for those six months, we stretched it every day, massaged it, and stretched, massaged, stretched. When it was all done, I couldn't even curl a two and a half pound weight because my muscles didn't work. They were disconnected. Um, or they were building up from practically being a baby. It was like if you were to give a baby a two and a half pound weight and say, get yoked. I couldn't do it. Um, and so I had to start all over with my arm. Um, and it slowly progressed and whatnot. Um, it works now. I can straighten my arm as well. The doctor is like, you should either be dead or not be able to use your arm. Okay? So I view this as a gift from God being able to be like, Molt, you have another chance at using your arm so that you can play video games and post it on YouTube. <laughs> so that was in 2006. It is now 2014. So that was eight years ago, guys. That was a long time ago. It looks better after it's never going to look normal because my muscles were cut in half. Um, but after the surgery, my arm was the, the size of my forearm. It was tiny because the, again, the muscles were a baby muscle. Uh, so I've gone through all that. Uh, some of you guys will probably make stupid mean comments because that's what makes you happy. And you can do that. You can say, Molt, your arm looks dumb. Um, I'll still hit you with it and knock you out. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, but it, it works. I can work out. I do CrossFit four times a week. Um, it gets tired, but I mean, it works. I can use it. Obviously I can use my fingers, even though for the longest time, guys, five months, my hand was like this. My hand didn't work because the nerves were cut in half. But now I'm just kind of going on about this. I just wanted to give you guys a story. I know not everybody's going to watch this, but, um, I think it's a pretty crazy, interesting story. The fact that I'm still alive when I should be dead. Um, I should, I should have bled to death. The doctor is absolutely amazed that I'm alive. Um, so crazy story. Thank you so much for watching. I know I kind of rambled on, but I wanted to give you all as many details as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and just live on, all right? Live life on, guys. Uh, yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. And as always, I'll see you later, all right? Peace.